Okay, here's the goals from the um, Guelph game. Uh, the first one, we're short-handed, and uh, I think Haley's in the box. So our positioning is a little weak on this play. Um, we haven't worked on the PK yet, so... But anyhow, it, they get a really good shot from their point man. Let's just watch it again. So we're running around again. We haven't worked on this. Playing the PK is like playing with two wingers and two defensemen. So you're supposed to be in a box, but I know we haven't worked on it yet. Puck comes out. What I love is watch their defenseman. Look at her hockey-ready position right there, the one who takes the shot. Knees are bent. She's calling for it like very clearly the whole time. She's wide open because we're not in the box. And she's screaming for a pass, hockey-ready position. She takes it. She's ready to go with lots of time. And we make a small mistake by not taking that player in front. But you see the player in front gets, that's when you want to go to the net, when the shot's coming. Good shot with her head up, player in front, Zoe never sees it. So it's a great shot. When we learn the PK, she's not going to have that much time. But you notice that hockey ready position and her calling for the puck? That's how you play without the puck. It's a great play by their defenseman. Okay? So there's goal number one. Goal number two. This one's a messy one. Watch the whole thing. And right there. Nope. Right here. Bang. Goal. So let's look at the whole play. There's a lot to see on this goal. Going way back to the beginning. So right off the bat, their players playing with speed takes out two of our players. Bang. But what I want you to see is this number 21 actually by a long shot beats both of these players off the up the ice. So she's first on her feet. Haley tries to keep the puck out. Watch this 21, how badly she beats our two players here. Nia is the one player that does the smart thing here because when she sees the defense out of position, she comes back and helps out. Serena is there to help, but she's not on the defensive side of the puck. Okay, so you got to uh, identify that they're, you're kind of stuck here and maybe try to get on the defensive side, not the offensive side of the puck. Another little mistake, but look at that. 21 just crushing our two players who aren't really skating back hard. And she's the one that knocks the puck off Nia. So it's her hustle that creates the first chance. Zoe makes a huge save. Scramble, we're doing a pretty good job here. Pretty good job, but right there we panic. The puck comes out. We blindly right there knock it right onto the stick of a player can't do panic passes blindly okay you're better to turn the puck over in the corner try to skate it to dead ice than you are to just blindly slap it away she reacts and it's in the net okay so how many mistakes do we have on that play we have a lack of hustle mistake we have a player who's not on the defensive side of the puck not a lot of hustle right here from our back four. Kind of slow to get in position. Knee is kind of left all alone. And then the critical error, we have a panic pass. And it's in the net. So about what, four or five mistakes on that play? Let's see, number three. Don't get the puck deep. Watch the lack of hustle on that play. We're going to watch that again. We just get outworked on this play. Play in the corner. Great F3 to F1 by Guelph right there. That's what creates the whole opportunity. High slot shot. Beats us to the puck. Outworks us in front. And it's in the net. We just got blatantly outworked on that goal. Let's, again, let's go to the beginning. Way back here. Mistake number one, we don't get the puck deep. Mistake number two, we're standing still. 
Look at that effort. No effort on that play at all. No back check on the play. Sophie makes a pretty good play there. We're okay here. We're okay. Great. This is a great play by her. She quickly goes from the front of the net, quickly pressures the puck, forces the turnover. That's a really good play. There's the turnover. Where does she pass when she gets the puck? High slot. Shot. Rebound. Comes around. And then we don't get defensive side on the player right here. We're on the wrong side of the man. And that's why they score. You got to get on the defensive side of the puck. There's probably six mistakes here. It's mostly around um, hustle and uh, hustle and just getting on the defensive side of the puck. Lots of mistakes there. Here's goal number four. This is this one wasn't good, guys. Kind of an embarrassing goal, to be honest. It starts over here. We get the puck deep. Haley gets the puck deep. But watch the forecheck. No hard attack. No effort. Just lets her walk right out. No back check. Well, Sophie back checks hard. Big takeout. Ellie makes a bit of a mistake here. If you're gonna if you're gonna stay there, go. Don't stand. Either back up or go at the person. But what you don't want to do is sit in no man's land right here. She's in no man's land, gets taken out. And here the whole play breaks out. Puck's going in the corner. This girl is making a line change. She's probably gonna win the race to the puck, but there's no way she should be able to cut to the net. But we got Haley not skating, and Charlotte takes a kind of a crazy route. Okay, on plays like this, you want to just skate right to your net. You should meet the player right here, okay? But we take a big loop-de-loo, and it's in the net. Guys, I've noticed a lot of those loop-de-loos in our games. We can't do that. Okay, so how many mistakes do we have on this play? Starts good, but no forecheck. No back check. Sophie back checks. It's got um, one mistake. No effort. Loop de loo. Ellie also makes the mistake on the other line. I think that's five things. Any one of those five things. If we have a four check, if we if Ellie attacks or backs up, if if um, we don't do the loop de loo, if Haley back checks, any of those things, and it's not a goal. That one didn't look good, guys. Okay, a lot wrong on that play. Um, but there's a lot of things to learn. I want to show you something that Guelph did really well. Watch this net drive by them. This is why they score goals. They're not a very flashy team. They just work hard. But look, first of all, no forecheck on this play at all. This girl has time. But watch their three forwards in transition. Look, their three forwards are starting at the tops of the circles, like in deep in their zone. Look at them go. Look at our forwards versus... They started almost at the same level as our three forwards. Maybe just like a couple feet ahead. Look at the gap. Look how far ahead they are now. Look at them going to the net. Look at the gap. That is just effort. Again, going back to here. We're a few feet away from their forwards here, guys. Look at their forward skate and look at us skate. Now they're fast, sure, but they're also working hard. And look at that, they get the goal right. I think they end up just jamming it in on this one of them. Oh, they don't score on this one. They don't score. But the bottom line is like that's how you transition in hockey, full speed. You can't just watch. You see that? Look at them go. Boom, 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 boom. They had a couple feet when they started. And now they're almost like a third of the ice gap over us. Because they're working hard. And we're not. Guys, lot to learn. Learn from teams like Guelph. They're not a flashy team. They don't do crazy stuff. They get the puck deep. They forecheck. 
They are really quick in transition. They go to the net. That's basically it. Look at them go to the net on that play. Everybody's crashing the net. Look at that. Sticks on the ice, knees bent, going to the net, rebound, shot, shot, shot. Okay? You got to learn from that. That's how you score goals in hockey.